Hello everyone. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can do the non-hypothesis test in Excel. Okay. So in order to do the non-hypothesis test, this is our 30 randomly select people, okay, from our original data set. And I want to test if this average hourly wage will be less than five dollar or not okay so first this is what i write down here the non-hypothesis will be the average hourly wage less than five dollar and then the alternative hypothesis will be the hourly wage larger than five dollar okay so this is the first hypothesis i want to test so i put a sample mean here do you see the sample mean here this is just the average Okay, you can put equal average, right? Because it will just the average of all the hourly wage here. Okay, so you put the average and then you can get the simple mean. And then for the simple deviation here, the simple deviation will show the deviation of this hourly wage for this column. Okay, so here you can see I just put equal standard deviation standard deviation okay for a sample so you hit this formula and then select the hourly wages okay all the hourly wages in our 30 observation and then hit enter you will get the standard deviation you can put the sample mean it, sorry you can put a sample size because here we have 30 observations you can just put 30 and then this is the most important thing you need to compute for t statistics right so this is the formula for you to compute for t statistics so based on this formula in excel okay you will see i put x bar will represents for this x bar here okay represents for a sample mean right so i need to use the sample mean subtract mu the mu will be five dollars in this hypothesis okay so i use you can see i use this sample mean subtract five dollar okay subtract five dollar and then divide you can see divide this divide the standard deviation okay and then Use the standard deviation to divide the square root of the, the square root of the sample size. Okay, so here you can get the t statistics. And then in order to get the p value, we also need to have the degree of the freedom. So the degree of the freedom will just equal sample size subtract one based on the formulas that we learned from our test book. And then the Next part, we want to use the p-value methods, right? So for the p-value methods, you can notice this is our non This is our hypothesis test, and it is the one-tail test. The non-hypothesis is mu less or equal five dollars. This is the upper-tail test, or some in some test book it will say the right-tail test. Okay. So this is the right-tail test or upper-tail test. So in order to get a p-value we need to, in Excel, it's very easy for us to get a p-value, okay? So we can just put equal t, we will get a distribute, right? Distribute for the right tail test. So this is the function you need to select. And then in this function, you will, you will find we have the x here, right? This x will be this x will be our mu okay so we have mu equal five right and then we will have the degrees of the freedom so the degrees of the freedom will equal 29. so this x here will be our t statistics okay and then you will put the degrees of the freedom equal 29. So you, when you hit enter, you will get the p-value. Okay, so the p-value here will be 0.009a. And the level of the significance here, we just choose 95% significance, right? So alpha here will equal 0 0.05. From this, the whole p-value, when we compute it, is less than 0 0.05, which means we can reject the non-hypothesis. We can reject the non-hypothesis, which means the average average hourly wage in our 30 randomly select people here will large than five dollars not less than five dollars and this is also 
verify from our simple from our sample mean here because based on the sample mean according to our calculation is seven dollars right which is exactly larger than five dollars so here based on this formula okay we can compute a p value for the non for the hypothesis test and maybe you want to do another hypothesis test to say okay if i want to test the average hourly wage will be less than ten dollars or not okay so this is another non-hypothesis test and you will see the second non -hypo the second hypothesis test and compare the first one would just change the mu okay so in the second hypothesis test we want to test if this hourly wage will be less than ten dollars or not okay so all the things will be similar here and until for when we compare t statistics we need to change this five to ten dollar okay and then hit enter okay you will have the new t statistics right and degrees of freedom still the same but you can see when we change the t statistics our p value also changes our p value also changes now the p value is almost equal one and when it almost equal one it's much larger than the level of significance here which means we cannot reject the non-hypothesis test which means the mu here the average hourly wage will be less than ten dollars and which is exactly as we saw here because the simple mean were just seven dollars which is exactly less than ten dollars okay so from this example i show you how you can do the one tail hypothesis test in excel thank you so much